มันไม่บีสมันไม่บีสมันไม่บีสมันชอบไซเบอร์บูลิงพลีสบีไซเบอร์บูลิงพลีสบีคายน์ทูบาบาบา But if they can do that to the right on the b o r a i l a Amolo Dinga, imagine who else in this country? Transparent. You use vehicles which are gasless. I I saw a friend from. Lusaka, Zambia, a young lady. I spoke to President d a k a i d e about a week ago, and he told me when he took over as a president of Zambia, he refused to buy any new vehicles. And and uh, his ministers were very unhappy with him. But now the Zambians are beginning to see what President d a k a i d e did. We need the kind of leadership. When I was coming here, and when you get your tea break. You will see few g a s l e r s because their minister is with you <laughs> in this compound. Each of them with few g a s l e r s with uh, bodyguards, with uh, all kinds of personnel. Kenyans are demanding accountability by bringing Article 37 to life, which says that is under Kenyan constitution. And allow me to use that uh, Kenyan example for uh, the leaders, the young leaders from Africa, in the hope you can use this as a as a test case. Actually, what is going on in Kenya should be a, a, a study, a case study for the whole of the African region, because Kenyan youth eh, got so highly educated. So remember, this is a country that invented M-Pesa, <laughs> and they get into space quickly. And occupy, <laughs> they occupied Baba space. <laughs> ah, and Article 37 of our Constitution: Every person has the right to peaceably and unarmed. That is the condition: unarmed to assemble, to demonstrate, to picket, and to present petitions to public authorities. That's the end of that quote. So Generation Z. Has done more to promote social cohesion in one month than the constitutional body that is charged with this responsibility 